Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Bingo. Maybe you can already tell because you can't hear any keyboard sounds or mouse sounds and maybe it even looks a bit different. It might. Quality might be a bit different. This is a pre-recorded video. Um, or maybe I just found a way to completely remove my mouse and keyboard sounds and this is really life. Or maybe this is all just a dream and this video isn't even real. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is pre-recorded. Uh, I did one pre-recorded run, like the first one in months, and this is the one. <laughs> and uh, you can probably already figure out why I'm doing a post commentary for it, but yeah, whatever. Um, how much iron is on this card? Actually, let me 10, 20, 25, uh, 27, 30 or something. There's no card on right? That's a bit weird. Um, there is a bunch of gold, uh, nine, if you don't find a golden apple, and there is, uh, what is there, what else is there, four redstone, two diamonds, this is the lapis, uh, and a pearl, I mean, the spider eye, um, the chunk of stuff, pumpkin seeds, lots of things, lots and lots of things. I still don't really know how to tackle these, like, this is only the second post commentary video thing I'm doing and it's it still feels weird it wasn't my intention to have to do this <laughs> um, it was just a very very late I couldn't sleep basically and then I did one bingo run and I didn't feel like talking because I was a little out of it I guess because I was actually really tired but couldn't fall asleep and then I, I did this instead um, yeah I don't I didn't really pay attention to the spawn point there I don't think it was anything good right I'm not sure, I don't really remember this run very well either. <laughs> so it's it's gonna be interesting for me to watch as well. Uh, looks like we have a f very standard start here. We uh, chop the tree in a way that should um, allow most of the leaves to decay because we do need the acacia sapling and then we start with our tool getting per uh, process. That's the right word. Right over here with this exposed zone. There's some sheep around, so we should have some food. I don't even remember if I killed any sheep in this one. I'm gonna th I'm gonna guess yes, because it feels like what I would do right now if I were actually playing. Um, but I'm not I'm not certain that I did. I might have just moved on quickly too. I don't really know. I think I did move on fairly quickly. Now that I think about it, I think I'm checking for a sapling. Got the red flower and the seeds. Two seeds. That's gonna be enough to get two wheat for the cookie. Turn the flower into the dye, pick up the sand for the TNT and the glass bottles. Seven, there we go. Count it right and picked it all up. Very good. And I ignore the sheep. But I also forgot about the sapling, right? Maybe I remembered now. That little twitch to the right might indicate that I did. I think I think so, yeah. I'm running back over there now. Very good, very good. And there is a sapling. Amazing. Have a quick look around. Did I see anything out there? Or I'm just randomly going this way. Heard a skeleton. And turned around immediately. Because even if it's not a dungeon, I do want the bones to get the wheat done. And also, the I guess, the bone in the car as well. So I hear two skeletons. I see. Um, the dungeon over there. I realized I don't have any core. That was what I was going for in my inventory there. Decide to start cooking some food because we are about to go into battle here and it's never a bad idea to have some cooked food in order to regain health. We dig towards the dungeon. Do we find anything here? I don't remember. We probably at least get some bones. I actually might even kill some skeletons in order to get enough bones for sure because we also need to beat roots which is another reason to actually go for bones early it's just so you when, when you actually find the seeds you can just make the stew and be done with it or soup you get the bucket and the pumpkin seeds but you don't need the name tag or the saddle uh, it's not a great haul but a haul. I don't know why I'm taking the rotten flesh honestly Go 
Golden Apple is good. Slashes are uh, gold need down to one. Some iron is always nice. What else did you get there? Not even sure. So I picked up something else, right? Oh yeah, the gunpowder for the TNT. Which is also very good to have at this point. I decided that I probably have enough bones for now. Pick up my food. Check my inventory. It's already there. Very good. Fill the bucket with water. Make a boat. Amazing. Should have probably made a TNT right there. I'm gonna guess that would have been a good move there. Sloppy crafting, but we want to pick and the shears for the for the vine. We want the torches indeed. And now I'm going. Should have made a TNT. <laughs> Cause I have enough. Yeah, I have enough. Alright, then we're headed for that sugar cane, I think. Do any oh I see the chugger now. That was soon, I thought it was a little bit late end of the run actually. Four minutes in, it's not too bad. We're going for the sugar cane. I don't know how much I need. Now, was it nine? Twelve? Is it twelve? Might be twelve. Or thirteen, the the spider eye too. And we're heading where are we heading? I guess kind of towards the chugger, but also to this cactus here, and then try and get some free sticks. That's always good. Check for clay, because we don't have that yet. But none there, also none here. I don't think, or you know, we do need an ink sack, right? But I probably decided that those were too far away. I heard another skeleton, and I'm thinking about digging. And I'm digging. Because it could be another dungeon and we desperately need the big root seeds. It's still there, it's only one though. And I think that's my cue to leave. Yes, it was. <laughs> Heading for Changer. See the cows over the air. I'm gonna do those first because I'm not sure where I'm headed next. We need the letter for the item frame and the book and quill. That's why we're over here now. Also, we don't really have a lot of food, just the seven pork chops. We have two letter. Um, now we have a third one, I think, or maybe, maybe even a fourth one. What do we see out here? Not a whole lot. Do I see some clay down there? Is that what I looked at? Maybe. Oh, I was checking for clay, but there wasn't any. Yeah. These ink sacks seem to be close enough, so we're going for them. Very good, very good. <laughs> this run, this run is, is going pretty well. Heart skeleton, don't care for it, but oh, there it is. <laughs> I remember that one part. Need a vine. Still needs the cocoa bean. There it is. And now we just need a melon. And then we can get out of the chunger and work on getting the mushrooms and then the spider drop and all of that at night. But first, let's find a melon. See if we can spot one before in game me can. Nope, in game me was pretty good there. I'm impressed. <laughs> Stones were not easy to spot. I had them right away. Very good. Now I'm probably trying to figure out what the next step should be. Because there are a couple of minutes of daylight left. I need the mushrooms still. But other than that, I'm pretty good for surface stuff. And I decide to smelt. Interesting. Don't, don't remember doing that. <laughs> and then, yeah. Triple furnace right away. Should have crafted that in one go instead of in two, but it's also fine. Cook up the stone for the repeater. Refill our wood supplies because they were basically out. Yes, cook the sand. Make the TNT finally. 
Excellent. We don't have any iron, which is somewhat annoying. I heard the chickens, we need a feather. Oh, that's why we stopped here, because of the chickens. Try to get a quick friend and succeed with that as well. Very good. So we are seven items in, eight and a half minutes in. That's pretty good, especially since you already have the clay and the glass done as well. There's two more items right there. I'm thinking about something else to cook. Can't find anything in my inventory. Did I want to cook? We make the whole... Our inventory is horrible right now. I don't know why I decided to do things in this order. I should have tried to clear some inventory by crafting first, make the book and quill, make the... Um, what did I not make? The glass bottles or the... No, no, the, the flower pot. That would have been the better choice to do that first. It's not a big deal, but it is somewhat annoying. That didn't do that right. <laughs> yeah, check how much sugar I need. I think it's only the one for the spider eye. We need... Make the book. Yeah, book. There you go. <laughs> nope, that's not a book. That's a book, good job. <laughs> Make it book and quill, excellent. 11 in nine and a half, that's pretty good pace. That's excellent pace, which was pretty good. I could throw out some more stuff there, but I don't. The cookies, the cocoa beans, uh, the seed. I should keep the hole, because I still need some other stuff. I should also make the item frame. I think I'm gonna do that now, yes. That's 12 and 10, still pretty good. We only need one melon, very good. Keep the hole, oh yeah, keep it, good job. <laughs> Almost threw it away. Don't need the seed, why do I keep it? Oh, there it goes. Excellent, excellent. It's like I know what I'm doing, sort of. Create some open slots and then some more core. Probably a good idea, because we need a whole bunch of iron smelted and this core is like right here. We don't have that much wood. We need the two brown mushrooms. This all broke like four at once, three at least. Some more logs won't hurt, and we're pretty good for pace. So now we need a red mushroom. We need an ender pearl, a spider eye. This sounds like it could be a dungeon, so I'm going to check. Actually, is a dungeon too. The second one we heard from the surface doesn't happen very often, but this one is vast, no chests. So, in terms of usefulness, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much a zero. It just cost us like I don't know half a minute at least. We got nothing out of it. Looking for red mushrooms here. Also hoping for more dungeons in these surface level caves, but there's nothing here. Or it doesn't seem to be anything, at least. And I don't really want to go on the ground because we need the ender pearl, the red mushroom, the spider eye, the string. I see the mushrooms, which are even better than the red mushroom in a way. Not really, actually. I guess maybe kind of, because it's like a the yeah one crafting step what you save, which is not that significant, but it's something. Get the workbench back, and then that was a mistake that, that annoyed me. Coming up right now, throwing out the boulders, but I still need them for the beetroots. I think I spotted the village actually before I mentioned it now. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that. Because I'm, I'm already going for that. I think I saw that before. I saw the mushrooms or something. Maybe we could we could go back, but I, I don't know. I want to watch it in real time, I guess. We're looking for the beetroots, but already find our carrot, uh, carrots and wheat. Also looking for blacksmith. Lots of wheat. We don't need any of it. What do we have over here? Some wheat and a slime and an enderman. I look at the enderman instead of going to hit him. Not sure if that's the right car right there. Maybe actually, because the skeletons down there would have been annoying. We get the ender pearl first try. Which I mean that's always that's always very nice when that happens. 
And I've had some some pretty lucky runs in that regard over the last couple of weeks. It's been the dungeon loot that's always, you know, killing my runs, not the end of pearls. And the pearls have always been fine. I double check because I can't, I just can't accept that there's no beetroot uh, farm here. But it's all wheat, except for those two at the start, which had, I think, carrots and potatoes or just carrots. I'm not sure now. There's nothing else to do here. We don't need a book anymore. I don't even know if there's a library even. Um, here the spider. You need all the spider drops and get them from the perfect spider. That little shake of the head to emphasis or to put an emphasis on how how unbelievably lucky that is. We got the end of per first try and then the next mob we kill is a perfect spider. Very good, very good. So we're at 14 in 14, but you have the means to make a fishing rod and we'll do that right now. You also can craft the spider eye. Will I do that actually? I think I will. Or I won't. I thought I would just craft it while fishing. That would have been the right move. Not a mistake. And not a mistake. I think I had, yeah, now I have the idea. Okay, I did do it. I just I waited too long for it to be actually a good idea. <laughs> well, I mean, it was still a good idea because it worked out, but yeah, the fish just took forever to bite. Here it comes. It's actually a fish. Yay. 16 and 15. Pretty good pace still. I look around thinking about looking for a cave or something and then just change my mind. And uh, dig down. Because it felt like we had an outside shot of a really good time if things go really right here. And I didn't want to waste like a minute or two looking for things or looking for a cave. Um, I mean, basically, I would have to dig into like a a dungeon with the beetroot seeds and then the diamonds, gold, the lapis, and a whole bunch of iron right there, along with the redstone, of course. But it felt possible, so I didn't want to to waste that chance, basically, just to maybe find a better cave or find a cave lore, because this is not a cave. <laughs> In case you've never seen one, this is not what they look like. I find some redstone, which is, you know, whatever. With all the low stuff we need still, the redstone is not really a concern. I decide to start smelting right here. Probably the right car. Yeah, I think that's the right car. So, how much iron was that? 16, I think? It's not quite enough, we need uh, nine more or something like that. But it's a good start. Here's some lava. I don't have my water bucket on my bar. There it is. <laughs> I did not know that was coming, but yeah, it makes sense that I would notice that. At about the same time, both while playing and while watching. We have a cave, it is a, it is a diamond lever. So that's good. That's the gold. That's more iron. Saw that little cave to the left there, but only looked at it for a brief second. Basically, was only verifying that there wasn't anything going to kill me from that side. Got the gold. More gold. We don't need it. An emerald. We <laughs> also don't need. But we'll take it anyway. More iron up here. Let's see what do we find. Here, two spiders, I think. Sounds like a dungeon. Digging towards it and then realize that my furnaces are very far away and probably about to finish their smelting. I should have put something in that furnace because that was definitely done. We run back, we check this side of the cave, find a skeleton. Not the best thing to find. And another dead end. Nothing on this, like in this 
arm of the cable R other than the skeleton. Right, just pointing. Again, I should have gone towards my one furnace there and put something in there. Not good enough. I thought I lost something there, but I, I guess I didn't. <laughs> That's why I went back to check. I felt like I didn't pick up all the items and something was up there, but there wasn't anything up there, I think. Because I have two furnaces, right? And I have 16 iron, yeah. Got it all back. Cook the rest of the iron. And start crafting some stuff before we tackle the rest of the things we need to tackle. Uh, yeah, I want to make the, the hopper cart and the other cart. I think that's solid thinking right there. TNT cart. Just clean out some inventory slots. Also, get rid of some big iron items. Probably good move anyway. Repeater. And the compass that uh, turns into a map. And we are at 1930. Um, so still a ways away. But actually not that bad, all things considered. Because the things we need are the, the beetroots, the rails, diamond and lapis. And this cave, I mean, if this cave has uh, diamond and lapis, and if the village above us has some beetroots, then this is a 20 or a sub 20 breakout. So, I mean, it's not, you know, obviously, <laughs> I would have been very lucky and all of that, but it's not like it was impossible here for those things to, to come true. I mean, it's not a big cave, but it could have had the things. Or if the village above has a blacksmith and the blacksmith has two diamonds in it, then you know, the two diamonds, the beetroots, roots, and it's just a lapis down here. And we have a breakout. And my phone keeps buzzing and I'm annoyed. Stop. Oh, it's steam. Some stuff's on sale. Stop! <laughs> Stupid phone. I don't know if you can hear it even, but it's annoying me. We go for the spider sounds you heard before, which turn out to actually be a dungeon. We find a whole lot of bones, and a golden apple, and some core. And R and R, we're not very impressed by that. Um, thinking about what to do with these spiders, and I decide that I want to kill them because I don't have more cave to explore, and it feels like there's more cave uh, to our left right here. So I want to kind of go through the dungeon, but I don't want to get annoyed by the spiders too much. But they're already doing a pretty good job of that. Clean up the spiders. Check the second chest, hoping for beetroots. No beetroots. So that golden apple and more bones. I don't think we need more bones at this point. But I'll take them. Because you never know. You never know. So we have more cave, as expected. Goes down at a good level. We see some diamonds. We're very happy about that. That was pretty bad because I updated that lava to the left there, which is now flooding my diamonds. That's not a big deal, but that was kind of slow. Also, this is not very safe at R. At this point, we only need two more things, lapis and the beetroot seeds. Or I guess we don't technically need the beetroot seeds, we just need the beetroots. But since we are on the ground, it feels like the, the best bet is to find the beetroot seeds in the dungeon chest. So that's what's going through my mind right now. I also picked up the extra diamonds because I'm expecting this to last longer than it ended up doing. And I go for the pick. Um, I don't know, why not, I guess. I don't think the diamond axe is that big of an upgrade versus an iron axe. Feels relatively insignificant. Whereas the diamond pick feels like it's a very good upgrade if we end up digging a lot, which we might not because there's another dungeon. I thought this was open and actually a spire dungeon, but 
Turns out it's closed off, the spider's just randomly outside of it. And it's a zombie dungeon. We already hear the baby. Baby's gonna come for us soon. There are the beetroot seeds. Ah, oh, but there's also the baby hitting us in the face. Or in the toes, actually. Can't really reach our face. Um, slightly messy inventory makes it <laughs> makes it kind of hard to grow the, the beetroots. Put the bone meal there, put the seeds in the hot bar, there you go. Kind of annoying how that happened there. I don't, uh, yeah, it confused me for a bit because I didn't understand I didn't have the seeds in my hand anymore. I don't know how that really happened. I guess the pickup delay was just perfect and they timed and I picked up the, the beetroot first and then the seeds. I need to craft the boars now because I threw out my other three boars like an idiot. <laughs> back before you got to the village there. Um, put the cards or the map back. Don't really need them. Cleaning out inventory, probably not necessary. Probably should have pushed right away and tried from the lapis, because it could be anywhere here. It's not down here. Still half a minute to go. And there it is. Find the lapis. Combine it with the rose red. And there we go. Which I guess is a poppy red now, not a rose red anymore. 25 items in 24 minutes, 31 seconds. Yeah, my first sub-25 in quite a while. I got close a couple of times, but yeah, I don't remember exactly when the last one was, but it's been a while ago, a couple of months at least. I didn't do one in August, I didn't want, I didn't do one in July. It was either June or maybe even May, so it's long, <laughs> it's a long time. I don't, I don't really recall though. Which one was the last one, actually? More diamonds here. Just one, though, of course. And more lapis on this side, too. So, I mean, I don't know. Of course, the one run I do without commentary is the one where I actually get a really good time. And this is honestly the first non, like, no voice recorded breakouts or, or breakout like I, I don't do any non-recorded ones anymore not since I don't know well, about a year ago I would say I recorded all of my attempts and this is the first one without me talking live over it since I don't know it's been at least four months I would I would say I haven't done any this summer where I didn't talk so I've always been trying to come up with with more with more bingo, because the people demand it. The people demand more bingo, and actually, I I, I want I want that sub twenty. That's why I've been playing as much as I have, and I really want the sub twenty. Definitely, I definitely want it to be live commentated and not post commentated. So I'm kind of glad that this one didn't that we didn't get super lucky with the village and then the cave for the yeah the dig down working out in our favor. But yeah, I mean that was a that was a pretty pretty good run. Um, I thought about just yeah, I'm <laughs> shaking my head because it's not I'm not talking and it's going as well. Great, there we go. Let's pause it here. So yeah, um, not sure what I how I feel about this. Like this was not intentional. And as I said, it's the only one with no no voice <laughs> I've recorded in months. So this is not something I, I plan on doing regularly. It just happened that way, I guess. And uh, it's not even that great of a time. <laughs> it's a pretty good time, though. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, and I, I, you know, we got kind of lucky with some stuff, for sure. But how many dungeons did we find? Four? Or five? I don't remember now. There was the one skeleton, then the, was this the next one, the zombie one without the chests, and then the spider, and then... Zombies again, right? So four. And it's kind of lucky. It's not unlucky. We got the golden epper. Uh, we actually got three golden eppers, and we also got the beetroot seeds. Uh, diamonds are easy. A lapis wasn't bad. Yeah, everything else was just fine. The surface was fine. The chunk wasn't too far. It's a pretty pretty fortunate run, R and R, and uh, yeah, and then the mob drops. I mean, and the pearl press try, and then the perfect spider right after that. Those things make or break the runs. 
Like, if you just have to kill one more spider, probably won't be able to get sub-25. That's that's how it is. I mean, maybe I, I would, would have rushed more at the end. Instead of throwing out stuff of my inventory, and maybe it would have been possible then still. But yeah, it would have been really close. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Or even, yeah, just another Enderman would definitely have killed the sub-25 there. So... It's just, you know, fine margins at this level of, of Minecraft bingo. I hope you still somewhat enjoyed this run. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm. I, it's, it feels really weird to talk over the already recorded video in a way. I don't feel very awkward or anything. It's just I, I don't really know how close I should stay to the gameplay. And then there's the thing, like I didn't watch this back again. It's been a couple of days since I've done it. Uh, so I didn't really remember every little detail. So... I actually actually had to watch and see what happens, kind of for some stretches at least. Like I knew the the, the bro strokes strokes and you know the and the pearl the spider I remembered I remembered throwing away the the bowers because that annoyed me. Um, and then that that the, the the finish in that cave I I was I had that basically from start to finish in my in my in my brain still, um, which is weird, <laughs> kind of. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good run. It would have been a shame to just put this on the rejected list with no commentary. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, but yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I don't plan on doing more of these. They might happen again, you know. I sometimes I just really feel like playing and really don't feel like talking or can't talk for some reason, either because my voice is already you know taking a hit or. Yeah, other circumstances it might be just loud, and then I have my mic shut off or something. Um, but what was I saying? <laughs> ah, whatever. Just stay tuned for more for more bingo. We're still we're still chasing that sub twenty. We're getting there. Uh, I have more confidence again. I feel like we're very slowly ramping back up, working towards those really good times. And uh, I'm ready, I think. I wasn't ready last month, I would say. But I feel like now I'm hitting my stride again a little bit. And I, I, I really I really think we're going to do it. So stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Every every next one could be the one. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys still enjoyed this, as I said. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. I mean, you don't have to. Like, this is not going to be a major part of the bingo series, these post commentated videos so don't worry about it and that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you soon with more amazing minecraft bingo <laughs> have a good day bye bye